Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Tableau Tip Top today. Um, in the short section, uh, I like to reintroduce a uh, dendrogram chart. Uh, this is a beautiful chart. Right? Um, I believe that many, many of experts have been done this one and published uh, in the internet. Um, I look into uh, the way they do, uh, the way they did, and um, really, really is. Uh, uh, found it uh, quite complicated if you uh, have the first glance. Right? So um, I print into my uh, sections a few um, um, fundamental things uh, uh, for, uh, uh, in order to build this one. I, and then after this section, I believe that you can feel uh, this is quite easy to build the, the datagram chart. Okay, so in my screen here, I have, uh, I built by my own, right? and you can see I have the uh, seven items of the uh, subcategory right? with the sales, uh, you know, in the um, ascending uh, order right? of, the, uh, of the sale. Right? And uh, the, uh, the higher of the sale, and then the bigger the, of the size of the line here. Okay. Um, I don't let you wait further. Let let go into uh, the step by step how to build this one. Right? Before um, before we uh, go into the tableau, uh, let me share with you a few fundamental things uh, how to how to do this. The first one, in order to build the dendrogram chart, there are three uh, elements you need to know. Uh, the first one is this sigmoid. The sigmoid uh, is the formula uh, when you want to build the edge, the X uh, shape chart, right? So um, let let talk about that later. But the first one is uh, you need to have the X and Y coordinate uh, in order to, to to plot the chart. In right? the first one is X is the formula uh, in uh, uh, the formula just to um, just to build the X point, data point, uh, starting from the minor 10 to up to 30, right? So you see a minor 10 and, and uh, 100, uh, 0 0.2 uh, multiply with the, with the, with the 100% and then uh, plus with 10, so we have 30 here. It's simple on the X coordinate and then in the Y coordinate, a few elements into the build Y coordinates, uh, the coordinates. The first one is the sigmoid, we, in order to build the curve. Right? Um, second thing is the rank, we see to define the distance uh, between the line, the distance between the line and the distance between the curve here. So we have the rank, the rank, it means the uh, rank of the sales of each line. Right? Um, so that's all, that's all, that's all about the, the dendrogram chart. But before we, we build the, the dendrogram chart, we need to prepare the data. Um, the, uh, one of the tricks we need to use in build the, um, the dendrogram chart is, you, you can see here, the line, actually it, it's many dots of a data connect each other, right? to build the chart. It's it not simply, it's simply just a line. Right? So in order to build it, we need to divide the line or the curve here in multiple of the dots. So that's what we use this, um, that what we call the densification right, data. And in Tableau, we use the bin. Right? Okay. So the, the trick here, in order to have <coughs> Uh, every data will divide into uh, 200 points. Right? So we use a one to one uh, um, uh, data joint, and you can see on the symbol if we have the item with AB, and then the path is one to 200, and then we join one to one, and we can have the each item here will be uh, will be double, right? Uh, with the value one and value 200. And then the next step is in order to do the densification, we need to divide this one into 200 points. Okay, so now it's back to Tableau. 
so first of all, it, it, let's see how I uh, I prepare the data. Right? Let me remove this one and show you again how to do this. Okay. And this is the path file. The path file is, is simple. Just the path one to one hundred, right? And then I bring this into Tableau, and I connect this one with the uh, data file we have. And I use inner joint here, and you want, and here, one at one. So I change the name is part. So actually now you can have each data line, right? Will 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 we'll be double, right? So we have the uh, double. Double value, double quantity, double discount, double profit, right? Okay, and uh, now in order to uh, to print the to print the each data point here, uh, divide by two hundred point. In this tableau, we need to use the, the bin, right? As I mentioned earlier, so uh, you will have the part here. Just create it. And then create a uh, huge created function here and create a bin, right? And then to have the unit is one in order to have a 200 point, right? So from one to 100, and then the step is one, so we have a 200 point, right? And then you can name it here because I recreated, so I don't recreate it again. So I have actually I have have the bin here, right? Um, X. We use the formula I mentioned in Excel file, right? Formula here, copy and paste. Uh, Sigmoy again. I use the formula in, in the here, right? Copy and paste there, and then Y in the Y uh, coordinates, we need to use the multiple things but it's formula so you have oh i forgot to mention about the rank so let me let me bring the rank rank is just uh, before you do rank you need to do sales right so now it you, you remember every sales is double now right so you so what you need to have the correct sales is you just get the um sum of sales divided by two and then uh, you, you you have the function window sum and, and sum of sale. We see we see the sum of what you what you see in the screen are uh, sales. So and then divide by two. And now you need to rank it. So you rank the sales in this descending uh, order, or you can do the ascending order as well. It doesn't matter, right? And now you go to the Y. So now you can have sigmoid, rank, and window max, right, and divide by two again, similar to the uh, because the order data it, it is multiple, right, double, double now, right? so divide by two. So this is formula. Huh? Um, don't need to worry about this. How to create an x and y is a formula, and or x more is a formula. So just copy and paste. So now let's bring that into the view. Right? First of all, it, you print the bin, part bin. Into come to the light, so missing data. So you need to ensure that the, this one it, it clicked right, and now you put it back to the pad, right? This is this is uh, normally many people forget to to uh, to do this step. And then all the data will missing. If, if you see, if you don't click on this one, the data only one to, to two hundred, right? But if you use the bins, it supposed to be from one to one hundred, and the the step by one, uh, the, the step is one. So it's just plus one, plus one until two hundred, right? Uh, Subcategory. You can print here. You can put a label. You can put a color. Whatever. I put it in the detail. And we can do that later, right? And now, 
Une prune de axe. In the axe, you do the computer by the bend. And why? Computer by the bend as well. Right? So we have a chart here. Um, you know, in the rank, the rank, we need to use the rank by the cell of category, right? So we need to use the subcategory. In the Y, uh, we need to use the subcategory as well. Right? Okay, so now almost you have the dendrogram chart here. Right? Um, let's bring something in. Right? Uh, let's bring the sales into the size. So you can see. The bigger one, the biggest, the biggest cell had the biggest size, right? Um, and then you can print the color, change the color like you like. So I will choose the orange and uh, which color you like, orange and green. Here we go. Orange and green look beautiful, isn't it? Then you want to print this label in as well. So let's type the first one in category into the label. Yeah. Let's bring the I think a let's bring the rank into the label as well, and let's bring the sales into the label on the label uh, you do a little bit format in the text here as well so let's bring the rank and the first one check category and we bring the sale You see it's a little bit overlap here. Uh, what you can do is um, let's extend these uh, the X axis here. Right? Let's drag and let's go to here and I think it matches a little bigger, let's say 45. Yeah, so you can see now it's on the um, on the label it line up here um, number one is four uh, with a 300 uh, 330 thousand I think if you can format the number here look better so left match it format and in the number here let's put currency custom uh, a three thousand so now you can have it good now so what you can do is just remove on the light here go to the format none none okay so header good um If you want to show in a different from the number one in the top, uh, I think what you can do like this. Uh, show it again. It, you do the reverse, and now you can see the big one uh, go to the top right, and then you hide it. Show, hide its uh, axis. Now you have it. You have uh, you have all the data you have here. What you can do one more step is, if you print the sub category into the filter, right, and show filter, you can apply it a little bit with the data here. Right? Just you select all, nothing, and you can 
select this uh, subcategory you want to you want to view right so it's very cool it's very cool uh, chart um, so this is the uh, the um, a single level of a dental graph I will do the uh, multiple level of the dental graph chart in the next section so I hope you uh, continue support uh, and if you um, find it useful uh, please uh, share your comment uh, in uh, my tab or tiktok or click like or even subscribe uh, thank you very much and have a great day bye bye